guys, it's me Ben from the Ben Cousin YouTube channel. Yes, I'm still gonna review guns, but in the meantime, I wanna show you my new hobby, cars. And right here, we have a Nissan GTR Drift. So yeah, so I'm just gonna explain about the box first. So right here, we have a black GTR and a red GTR. Um, with a with a body kit, a white body kit, and a spoiler on the back. Yeah. And it says 2.4G technology, 116 scale model, and a four-wheel drive. Realistically, you have to use a two-wheel drive, specifically the rear-wheel drive to drift. But I guess it can drift. This is a high-speed drift. Yep, it can drift. And you can change the tires from drag tires which are made of rubber you, technically it is made of rubber or the drift tires which are made of plastic but in real life they're both rubber let's go open it now okay, so from my angle it says the number 9 but since it says number 9 here it probably 6 here so this is for 6 ages I'm a bit too old for that but it's fine let's go open it up and while I actually review this thing I'm gonna talk about some of the history about, about the car itself yeah, real life drift RCs are actually supposed to be big, probably bigger than this. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the history first before I review it properly. So basically, the GTR all started with the first ever GTR named the Nissan 2000 GT with no R. Then it got upgraded, not technically upgraded, a new model named the Nissan GTR. This one is the R30, then we moved on to the next generation, the R31, then we have the Godzilla, also known as the Nissan GTR R32. It's a Skyline, by the way. Nissan GTR Skyline. Yeah. Then we have the R33, same engine power, but twin turbo, which is TT, which is twin turbo. And then we have the R34, which is Brian O'Connor's big quick, fast, and furious. Yeah. And it, it was pretty successful. The game I play called Wild Midnight Maximum 26 RR. I use the I use it, and it's actually a pretty good car. Now, if I remember correctly, it still uses the same engine. No, no, it's a new engine, and I think it's still twin turbo. Okay. Then we have the Nissan DTR with no Skyline R35. The Skyline is now a sedan. Or said that. Okay, let's go continue on. We got the controller, and this is my favorite type of the controller. I call it the stick controller because it, it it's basically a stick with a steering wheel and a trigger here to make the car throttle or accelerate. And if I, with with my knowledge on RC cars, this type of RC car cannot move back. So you. So once it just goes bumps like this, I think you gotta pick it up and then put it back on the racetrack. But honestly, I I haven't really played with a stick one for it yet. All the other ones are Joy-Con Joy -Con controllers, but they're not really Joy-Cons if they're for RCs. And fun fact, RC stands for radio control. So this is a radio control <coughs> toy. Okay, um, don't think we need to remove that. Okay, so let's take a review of what we have first. Okay, I'm actually very excited about this because I finally have an RC that can actually drift. I'm, I'm pretty sure I actually have one before, but it's probably broken. Anyways, so this is all the things we have. And okay, a little fun fact. Why was the Skyline R32 named Godzilla? It was because it basically made all the good cars bad cars because that was just a powerful sports car right that thing won a lot of races okay let's go continue now so we have the tires the drift tires which are made of plastic of course and let's go take a look of what's inside here we also have this to change the tires okay oh no we have some tape okay Put the tape on the table for now. Okay. So, 
First up, we have this. And that is to remove the tires. So you can see like these tire rims. Now you see the middle, you just need to pop this in, twist it, and there you go, the tire's all out. So here, here's one example of the drift tire. It's made of plastic. I'll show you proof. Full on plastic. So the tires we have are made of rubber. And I like to call these the, I don't know, uh, what's the correct All oh, right, drag tires, because these tires cannot drift. I don't know. I haven't tried it out yet, but for now, I'm just going to call the rubber tires tires. I'll just call it the drag tires. And the drag race is basically a race where you just need to go straight and win. So yeah. So we are done with this. Let's so move on to the charger. To charge your batteries, of course. This, um... Okay, I don't know anymore. So now we have the batteries for the car itself. Why am I speaking in the British accent again? Never mind. So yeah, these are the batteries of the car. And how do you know the car is full on toy grade? Flip it upside down. There you go. Usually toy grade cars will have the uh, will have the battery up here, but real real professional drift RC cars will usually have the chassis a bit smaller and pretty much actual headlights these are plastic headlights part of the body kit so real real and professional cars will have the real headlights with the real neon glow and the the back ones too will also have a real glow so that's how you know that this is a toy grade but not all toy grades have no neon okay some of them do have the lights but the one that i have here does not so yeah i haven't really tried this out so this is basically a budget drift rc car haven't tried it out i should test it out then we have this um yeah so yeah and yeah this is probably one of my favorite uh favorite uh, controllers yeah controllers because all you have to do is that's it all done oh that's awesome okay but i'm assuming that you can't lower down the acceleration because you hear a click sound once you fully lock it in same with this and this so I don't think it's for, for professionals. Hopefully it can be. So these are the batteries for the uh, controller. And I've already talked about the car itself midway during the whole the whole thing of all these. So I'm just gonna put in a few things. So basically if you wanna take off the uh, plastic part here, the one with the with the fake headlights, yeah the you just gotta do this and then if i'm not wrong just pull it out and i'm pretty sure it'll just get out further inspection this is what it looks like that's why you can't just pull pull this and then just pull the other way because it's a one way okay this part is blocked off this part is blocked off so it's a one way right and yeah i guess that concludes the car when i said the spoiler you can find the same exact spoiler here in a car, in a car game in Roblox called Driving Empire. You can find this spoiler for your GTR. They also have the GTR R32 nicknamed Godzilla, so that's a pretty cool game. And yeah. Okay. Alright then. Just like any normal RC car for drifting, you can just do this. See the small things? Just push it. Push it. Push it out. And then pull it. Hold on. Um, there you go. That's one done. I mean, that's two done. Then we have, then we have two more on the back. 
Uh, oh, it's for closing the body because there's a chassis uh, under it. It's not really a chassis. I don't know if it's a chassis. It's pretty hard to distinguish. So, same, same maneuver. Just push it backwards and then pull it. You know, I know what chassis look like. They're like the bottom part of the car where you put your engines, your springs and tires and like that. But I don't know about the RC car because so, this is what an RC car chassis would look like. Yeah. So here, if your RC car is broken, professional RC cars would be a bit smaller and sometimes their, their colors would be blue or red. I don't know, but I usually see blue, black, red, and white from YouTube. And, oh, you know, it gets pretty dirty in here. And if there's something wrong with it, you can see these screws. Yeah, you can unscrew these, like the, this part too. This is probably where they put like the chip inside of it. You know, those green things that power up the whole thing, not really. Then we have the tires here, just like what any chassis would have. Full blown tires with, you know, suspension springs. I don't know, springs for the suspension height on a real car. Then we have like the side skirts, which is, I don't know if you put it on the chassis or the car thing. But yeah, we, yeah, so a, ch a chassis would be empty. Wouldn't There wouldn't really be anything yet. But if you flip the chassis over, like when it's already, when it already has an engine, like the, I forgot, like on the back, the whole thing, there will be like a whole system, like the engine would be right here. Then we have a lot of this things. Then we have like the two or maybe one, like, you know what? I'm done. Uh, so yeah. Then wanna put just wanna put the body back to the chassis. Get these clipper thingy, my jigs. Just put them back like that. So there's this like small hole, which is pretty hard to see through the camera, but you'll see it eventually. I'll just give you time. Okay then. Then you just put this part in, the one with, like this one right here. See? The bul the bulging part, the, bul the one bulging to inside. Now if you put it in this way, and then push it, uh, okay, hold on. Uh, we get it back, and yeah. And if you just put it in the, hold on, hold on. Uh, Okay, just put it in the hole and then just push it in and then there you go that's one and then let's just do the other one real quick here so you just do the same maneuver put it in and push it in there you go we're back we're done with the back now the front so same angle and same everything, same side. There you go, and then we should be, hold on, done, we're done. There you go. The body is back to the chassis. For proof, I will now do this magic trick. Hold on, I need a better grip, but oh, there you go. Now we'll do this magic thing. Da -da -da. Now the body won't fall off the chassis. There you go. All right then. This is accelerate, just like pulling a gun trigger. Here is reverse. Just put your finger below and push. Here is, hold on. Okay, hold on, let me check. So this is right and this is left, okay. So this is right and this is left. Uh, I don't know.
that's the Nissan GTR R35. And usually, the Nissan GTR R35 is really good at drifting. And you can recharge the batteries. So, yeah, that's the conclusion. But when it doesn't have enough power for the throttle, like accelerating or turning the wheels, like left or right, you gotta recharge these batteries. And um, yeah, yes. now I end the video here. So, if you like the video, you can like it. You can comment if you want. You can share the video. And I don't know, you can subscribe. Anyways, stay safe, stay healthy, and if you don't forget to stay happy. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Bye bye!